I will now guide you through lesson eight on the lesson guide. Once again, remember to live at least a day since completing lesson seven. The first task is the SUS3 reading for Moshe's words 51 to 100. So turn to page 33 and see if there are any words on here that have received a dot at either of the previous two SUS3 reading lessons. Ask your student to read them, place a dot if they don't know the word, practice the negatives before you leave the page. That's the reading out of the way and we can now turn back to spelling. The next thing is for once again for the tutor to look at the control pages. Pages 53 and now of course also page 54 because we have introduced Moshe's words 51 to 100. We need to choose eight words for another Ross process. So we'll, ne we'll need to choose six words, six negatives from the shaded area on either page. For example, perhaps was, this, came, and which. Two more words here from page 54. And we also, of course, need two paired words to make up our eight. In this case, off and off have been ticked. They were successfully spelt by our student. So we'd probably choose were and where. Take your student through the Ross process in the normal way, just remembering to change your approach, the order of the words um, for rows D and E, in order to accommodate the two paired words.